So Ricky Stark posted a video, uh, something on his Instagram a couple of days ago, whatnot, that got people talking, and then is spurred out big news about Ricky Stark and his contract issues, um, and that he is not. He last wrestled for the company on March 30th. He's not been on TV since March 30th. Um, and that they were, and it was with Big Bill, whatnot. And there are reports now that he is by Fightful that he is uh, denying contract issue or denying storylines, I mean, um, for his character and even for the uh, tease for them to break up him and Big Bill. They wanted to do a Big Bill and him feud, but he didn't want to do that. So, Sarah, basically, this means Ricky Starks wants out. I don't see why not just grant him his release. You're going to lose him to WWE anyway, even if he waits. So, you know, waits out the contract or whatnot. It's kind of inevitable because he's Cody's guy and that they actually could use a guy like Ricky Stark. On, Ricky Starks on their roster. I don't know that it necessarily means that he wants out because uh, when we've talked about it before, he's tiptoed around actually speaking badly about aew or tony Khan or anything like he doesn't really say that like he said you know uh this is just the business like they just don't have anything for me right now and that's okay blah 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 like he's trying to be you know pc Mm -hmm. he's trying to say all the right things and i applaud him for that because uh i don't think that's easy to do nor is it common a lot of people that are in his situation would be complaining online, doing whatever to try and get attention over the Look fact that they're not being used. And it's like, I get it being frustrated, but also blasting them online is not really helping, you know, the situation. That's, a, that's what I think. It's, so yeah. um, I don't blame him for, again, as I was just saying about Dijak, like trying to take control of his career. If he's saying like, no, these storylines that you're pitching to me are awful. I don't want to do that. Um, especially at this point, he's almost been off TV for three months. So like, if you're going to be bringing him back, it can't just be some like shitty randomly thought of story just to get him on TV. It's like, no, you should probably like put a little bit more thought and effort into it. But I do think kind of Richard said too, um, about Dijak that the main roster in WWE is kind of bloated, which I've always said was going to be an issue, (laughs) um, because of how much good talent that they have in NXT. So then trying to then bring them up into raw and SmackDown was going to be a problem. And I've said that about AEW, that they're flooded with talent. So there are going to be really good guys and girls that are not going to be able to get any TV time because it's like, well, we only have this many hours a week. These people are all in active storylines. They're the fan favorite, whatever. We don't have time for you. And it kind of feels like that's what Ricky's in. And um, I wouldn't be surprised, as we've said, like, yeah, he's going to be WWE bound eventually. I mean, there's a reason he's been backstage multiple times for Cody. Um, Cody's hinted at it being something that's going to happen eventually. So I don't know when. It might be sooner than later if maybe they get fed up with each other, but I feel like we're not quite there yet. So it's a situation to monitor, probably. It is a situation to monitor for sure. It just bring him over. Mr. Anderson even says Ricky Starks and XE would be great. Yes. Dickie even agrees. Yes. Like, <laughs> he screams NXT and like being huge in NXT and then having a really easy transition to the main roster. Because I think we also need to move past thinking NXT is only for developmental. You know what I mean? Like, yes. it, it's definitely more developmental than it was during the majority of the black and gold era, because then we know that it became more of like triple H trying to sign every indie big guy. <laughs> um, and make which, it his own. Yes. Which his worked own great. Shawn Michaels is all, you know, trying to do it where, okay, yeah, these people are green as grass and we need to get, give them um, reps and, and, and experience. But then at the same time, there's a reason why, veterans like sean spears you know like there's a reason he's in nxt he doesn't need to be in nxt but he is because you know ricky would go there but he would need to be introduced to the wwe audience get a fan base get attention like get but become uh, a household name for wwe audiences that's basically the only reason he would need to be in nxt it's a bridge 
Yes. It, it, it's a yes. bridge. And yeah. it's just simply a bridge. Yeah. In certain situations. Yeah. Because I think that, like I said, they're definitely more developmental than they used to be. And oh, I think it's, it's good. But in Ricky's case, it would be like, no, it's just to kind of get acquainted with who you are and whatever. And you'd inevitably come up. Because, like, look at what happened with Solo Sokoa. He was literally in NXT for, like, the shortest amount of time. For like a minute. Yeah, and so it's like that could happen with Ricky too, because who knows? Maybe he'll like come up and join like Cody's squad or something like that. I don't know. 